Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us to uh, with our coffee with the counselors. The topic today is bright futures, industry certification, and diploma designation information. Kind of a mouthful. But today um, we have our lead counselor, Mrs. Laura Kona, who will be presenting. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. So yeah, so today I'm going to talk about Bright Futures Industry Cert and Diploma Designation. Um, Bright Futures is, it, so basically we want to talk about how can we learn Bright Futures Scholarship. Well, Bright Futures is the scholarship program in the state of Florida. It's funded by the Florida Lottery Program, and students can earn as long as they complete their application by the end of their, by their graduation, and they get a diploma from a Florida high school. They haven't had any felonies and they were accepted to a school. It could be a community college, a state college, whatever it might be. Um, and they're enrolled each semester for at least six classes, then they are entitled to money. And this is based on a few factors. Sometimes it's, do we have the SAT, the next one? So the academic one is 100% of the tuition, about. Okay, so it's about $100 per credit hour. Sometimes it comes at a little less, sometimes a little more for each of the schools, depending. If a student wants to go to private school in the state of Florida, they will give them money for that. However, obviously the money, you know, doesn't go as far if they went to the public school. Uh, uh, there's two ways to get that academic scholars. One is by qualifying by the GPA and the test scores. And then the other way is by getting the ACE diploma. For the academic scholars, students must have a 3.5 weighted GPA. Now they only look at the core classes. They're not looking at the electives. They're looking at four Englishes, four maths, the three highest science grades. So if your student took more than three science classes, they'll take the highest um, of the science grades. Social science, they're talking about their world history, their US history, their government, and their economics. And then they must have at least two years of a foreign language in order to go to a four-year university, as well as qualify for Bright Futures. And it has to be sequential, like Spanish one, Spanish two. It can't be like Spanish one, French one, right? It doesn't have to be consecutive. It doesn't have to be in the next year, but at least it has to be sequential. They must all get 100 hours of community, oh, sorry, 100 hours of community service for that one. And if they do not have the ACE diploma, the current SAT score requirement, now it might change. If some of you have freshmen or sophomores, this might change, um, but currently it's a 1340 for the SAT. The ACT is a 29, and there's a new test that the state of Florida has approved um, called the Classic Learning Test that students can take and end up getting um, Bright Futures qualifications by taking the CLT test. The medallion is a 30, 3.0, I'm sorry, 3.0. 75% of the tuition about is covered. Again, the same GPA that they make up, 75 hours is needed, or a 1210. 84 CLT or 25 ACT. So in order to get the Bright Futures with an ACE diploma, they'd have to get they'd have to get seven points for their ACE diploma. And part of that seven points have to be in certain categories. So the core, they must get a point in global and they must get a point in English lit. Okay, so those are the two for sure required. Then they have to have a math or science. It could be ACE Marine, could be ACE Math, could be ACE Environmental, could be ACE Psychology. Okay, they have to have one of those and pass one of those. An Arts and Humanities class, as well as an interdisciplinary skills. If they've taken general paper, that's that's considered a interdisciplinary and that's an optional category. But they must have at least a Math of Science, the English, and then an Art and Humanity class, which could be ACE Travel, ACE Business. A lot of our other ACE classes are those Arts and Humanities. Um, and it has to be completed within three years. So it's either freshman, sophomore, junior year, you can lose those points, or sophomore, junior year, you could do those points, or sophomore, junior, senior. We like the students to get it done at the by the end of junior year for the fact of we'll know for sure if they have the ACE diploma because the exams are not taken till after May of senior year. If you want more information about Bright Futures, you can always check out Florida Student Financial Aid website as well, and there's tons of information there as well. So to apply, when the students are seniors, it opens up usually in October, and they, if your student is currently a senior, they should be filling this out. It's called FloridaStudentFinancialAid.org, and they apply for Bright Futures. 
they have the rest of the school year to bring it up. So if your student is not quite at that 3.0 GPA um, in their English, their math, their science, their history, and their foreign language, they still have this semester to make to get to qualify, as well as take tests. So if they're still working on the SAT or ACT scores, if they're a current senior, they have until graduation to get those test scores needed. And the test scores are super scored. So they do combine the best attempts of each score. So if your student did better on reading one time and math another sitting, then they can combine those scores. Industry certification. So some we do offer some industry certification, which does help students have an edge upon graduation. It allows them to be able to put it on their resume, something extra to do on their resume. And we do offer some industry certification classes that I don't know if you are all aware of. Um, for example, like TV production, students can get um, Premiere Pro Photoshop certified. So it's something on their resume. And we've had students, for example, use that in the workplace to actually make money because they're certified. The biotech, they take the base exam, which is through the University of Florida, and they get certified through that. Computer science, they can be um, certified through information technology, the JavaScript, and child development. They also get certified. So they're able to work at a preschool because they're able to be certified certified teacher. Diploma designations, a lot of times we get questions on what, are the, what does that mean to have a diploma designation? So there's a scholar designation, a merit designation, and a biliteracy. Basically, they are seals that are put on top of the diploma. Okay? To get a scholar designation, you must pass the geometry EOC, the biology EOC, and the US history EOC. Remember, those are not required to graduate, okay? But if you want the scholar designation, then those are required. Um, they must have earned at least a credit algebra two, okay? Um, or an equally rigorous math class. They must have had either chemistry or physics, as well as another highly rigorous class that could be physics, marine science. Um, they must earn two credits in the same foreign language and at least one AP, ACE, or dual enrollment class as well. Then they can get the sticker on their diploma that says scholar designation, and it would also be on um, the program at, um, when we do graduation. The merit designation, if your student gets the industry certification, whether it's through TV production, biotech, early childhood, or computer classes, then they will get, that, they will get the sticker for the merit designation. This is also things to think about when, apply, when doing course selection, because course selection is going to be coming up in the next month or so, thinking about if you, just, you want your student to get maybe an industry cert in something, they might want to take a computer class or some, or early childhood or TV production. Seal of biliteracy, if your student took four years of foreign language and got at least a 3.0 GPA average, okay, as, then they'll be able to earn a seal of biliteracy, okay? Um, there's different, there's the silver and the gold, and that's based on if they passed an exam or not, whether they have to pass the AP Lang or an ACE exam, as well as a uh, Spanish, like if they took AP Spanish, AP French, any of that would give them the gold seal. We will have another virtual coffee talk with the counselors on February 23rd, and that's when we will also, there'll be an advanced coursework night on February 6th. Again, we're going to be doing coursework. That's the important thing right now is choosing the classes that's best fit for your student. So if you want to hear about our ACE classes, our AP classes, or any of those, every 6 at 6 p.m. is open to all students incoming and current. I'm talking about course selection. So at this time, is there any questions? Because there's not as many of you, so we can open up some questions. What I'm, what I'm going to do is just stop recording okay. real quick so you can feel free to Ask away.